welcome back. We're in the duck call room, ladies and gentlemen. And, uh, oh boy. you know, it's a grind of a duck season. So if the energy seems a little down, it's because we're all worn out. Let's just call it what it is. Um, Cy, what, you, you got no, something stuck in your craw this morning. I, no, so what, I don't huh? see no clock run. So, the what? I don't see no clock run. Oh, there you go. There you go. Now. Ooh. Now. Okay. <laughs> Boy. Ooh. He said he's no, no. not clocked in. He ain't hey, talking. He ain't clocked in yet. Now we're clocked in. Now okay. He's clocked in. And what we're going to talk about today is, hey, relationships. Huh? Relationships. Yeah. The human race, okay, relationships with this ball we call earth that we live on, okay, and then the worst part of it is, then you got to talk about the relationship between all of these stupid human beings, which I'm one of them. Okay. okay. Yeah. So today is Uncle Si the uh, philosopher. That's, right. hey, that, right. that's where. Well, that's then, right. then kick it off if that's what we're going to talk about. Uh, well, <laughs> we got all this stuff going on. We this is playoff time. Okay. Number one for football. Everybody's gone insane. Yeah. And uh, I did make the prediction on the. National championship for college. You did. Who was going to win that? And they pulled it off because they showed up. Okay. Well, what's that hey. got to do with a relationship? I'm not sure. Hey, it has a relationship to, between the coach and the men that are playing. Oh, okay. Because <clears throat> I used to say boys, but no, they ain't boys playing anymore. Okay. We got to get are, a sigh on that Ted these, Lasso hey, bag. <laughs> these are grown men. Okay. That's why it was so funny when I was in high school. Uh. Y'all you know, getting ready to graduate from high school, and Coach Sigris told me, you know I can get you a walk-on on Louisiana Tech, right? I like to fell out. You know, I was on the floor laughing. I said, Coach, you ain't looked at me lately, have you? I weigh 130 pounds when I'm soaking wet with all my equipment on. <laughs> and I said, and hey, I've been in the locker room at Tech. Field plays football over there, and so does Tommy. I said, hey, I'm a child, okay? Them boys – are grown men and big grown men. So, nah, I don't want to know that. I love the game, but forget that. <laughs> so, what do you got on? What do you got, J.D.? I'm going to put you on the spot. Buddy. All right, well, that's it for relationships. <laughs> <laughs> that, didn't, join, that didn't take long. Join, that is, boys. Hey. join us next week for something else. You I got relationship. Uh, Talk about you and your wife uh, and your children. Uh oh, oh. What about them? Okay. Well, hey, tell me something about it. <laughs> let's, let's tear it down. I have no idea. <laughs> and how long have you been married, my young man? I've been married for eleven years. For eleven years, and you ain't got a clue. What? What? Am I, I mean, I got. A, I know a lot about her. <laughs> well, tell me something about the woman that you're living your life with and having children with. I already had all the children. You ain't had no more? I don't know where we're going. I don't know what I'm supposed to say about her. I you put him a, on the spot. He you can't have a funny story. Boy. Uh, you want to? Uh, I'd probably start I mean, with how much you love her. I really <laughs> like her. On the off chance she listens. Yeah. Yeah. She, no, she ain't listening. Oh, man. Um, yeah, I can say whatever I want besides uh, some things. But, yeah, she ain't listening. Oh, man. I think she's uh, she's at lunch with somebody about women's ministry and oh, okay. moms. Well, and well see, that's relationship. See, hey, there you go. That is. She's, she's with these people I'm talking about. These yeah, she, human beings. She has her little mom's group that she does. Well, that's a good deal. So, okay. yeah. there you go. You well, put hey, me on We wouldn't be spot. here if it wasn't for moms. That's okay? very true. And dads. It takes two, boys. But you said relationships between people <laughs> and this earth. What does that mean? It's a, well, hey, you live on a ball. Are you doing something, uh, you know, trying to take care of what you've got, being a good steward of the earth? I like that. I actually do like that because I watch Yellowstone. Now, I know a lot of our fans are going, I can't believe you watch that vile stuff, whatever. Sinner. Hey, that's our history. It's, it's, wait, time out. We're talking about two different Yellowstone. Oh, well, I, I'm not talking right. about the Planet Earth version. Right. Oh. I'm talking about the Paramount Network oh. version. Okay. Um, okay. Kids. Plenty of biology involved in both. But oh, boy. Anyway. Boy, anyway. Yeah. But he said, Kevin Costner's character said an interesting line that I thought in there. He said, the problem started when humans started living on the earth instead of living with the earth yeah that's when the problem started and that's kind of what you're hitting at there oh no is that yeah. we're living on it and not with yeah. it yeah right yep. i mean that's yeah. that's one of the relationships you're talking about yep. here 
So because when you look at it, okay, we got all this different, uh, uh, sp- all the different species of animals, different species of birds, different species of fish, all this stuff. Because I was watching last night. This guy's studying octopus, okay? And he he actually brought a giant aquarium and put it in his living room where he could interact with this stupid octopus that lives on the bottom of the ocean. Okay? Okay. Yeah. So it was it was actually cool because, I mean, he's got a daughter, and she's coming in, and, you know, and the octopus is actually holding hands with the, the daughter. Was this the Little Mermaid? Uh, no, <laughs> the cartoon. No, no, this is for real. Okay, they brought and emptied, uh, uh, put a big uh. aquarium in their living room and put an octopus in it, and then they had interactions with it, relationships. <laughs> what did they okay? determine? Well, hey, they just determined that this this octopus is a very uh, intelligent creature. Uh. Well, yeah, he'd been here since the beginning of okay. time. Just about. no, no, because then it went kicking. on, and they started showing one somewhere. Okay, on a uh, like a prairie, shallow prairie in the ocean, and guess what? It shows this octopus. It's, there's nothing on this prairie. Okay, it's about two foot deep salt water. So, well, there's all kind of uh, uh, what predators. Okay, that eat octopus. Okay, mm-hmm. so it shows this octopus. He's carrying two half of coconuts with him everywhere he goes. Okay, and look, and when he's threatened, guess what? He comes. He gets no, in the come middle. On, come on, no, 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 no. Look, come when on. he's threatened, he gets in the middle and closes them. It's like a whole coconut again, until. The pressure goes away. Stop it. He, no, no, I'm serious. He even used uh, it. Okay, it shows this coconut land on uh, the bottom of the ocean, and it shows this uh, some kind of fish coming by, and all of a sudden, you boom, out of the coconut. As he ambushed this fish. So he carries so, around hey, a blind with him. He carries a blind with him. So it, sometimes it's a blind, and sometimes it's a shield. Oh, no, yeah. It just all depends on and what's going on. And it's a coconut? Hey, Huh? It's a coconut. Split perfectly in half so he Split, can fit it. That's right. <laughs> and hey, and that's this, a small. He, he hollered it out. No, no. They're hollow anyway. Are they? Yeah. All they, they got... are. It's got about a uh, quarter to half inch of coconut, and it's full of uh, coconut milk. Oh, you ever Real had coconut milk? Have you yeah. ever had coconut milk? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Not like the you box take kind. A that's garbage. And, and screw your whole or the drill with a drill bit. And do it, and then drink coconut milk, and then bust it open and eat the coconut. Uh, Did you learn that in Vietnam? Uh, no, I love coconut. Especially it's fresh coconut. Where did you learn that? Because we don't uh, have coconut. Well, hey, you buy it in a grocery store. Oh. And then, like I told you, you drill a hole, <laughs> and drink the milk, and then you then you get your axe and you I bust that sucker store. open. So did it inspire you to start uh, carrying well, no, around no, two halves of coconut? That that oh. you know. That he's he very, they're very intelligent creatures. Hey, when every day is a matter of life and death, you figure it out. We got it pretty well made on that end of it. <laughs> well, I no, mean, that's what I'm saying. But okay. for him, I, I would suspect. It was, it was amazing to watch, okay, because it's your shark coming swimming by. And, hey, the coconut shells come together. <laughs> and he, he's in the middle of it, okay? Uh, he'd been watching a sea no, turtle. No, look, they got a, two uh, eyeballs, okay? You know, this, was, this, was this a cartoon? Huh? No. Oh. This is a real live octopus. Oh. Okay. And then King Triton and, and like, I don't know how these out. were small. <laughs> I guess they get huge. I'm going to Size House one night for movie Well, night. no, no, no. Cause, <laughs> hey, Wait, the the name this? of the show is Nature. Nature. Yeah, on Nature. Wednesday night. Okay. okay. No, I'm with you. Because it ain't much on television. No, I, so I, okay, let's Wednesday see what's night. on. Then I, I put it on he, what, Channel not, 13. An octopus PBS. coconut home. Yeah, PBS. Nature on yeah. PBS yeah. posted this. Oh, I don't doubt the boy watched it. Oh, well, no, no, no. I just it don't know cold. where he finds it. But if you... St- All right, real quick. <laughs> Look at that. He's getting in the duck. He's getting into it. it. Look okay. at him. Oh, my goodness. No, no, I'm telling you. That's why I was saying, look. Oh, I'm with you. You got to think about it. I didn't doubt you. Everything on this ball we live on 
is about relationship. And he he found it, a way to make I, something out of a trash coconut. Look, it, well, it showed. <laughs> yes. What was so funny? It showed him when he's taking it with him. Yeah, it's like he's got it on watch his this, arm. This, oh. It's like he's got it on his armpits on each side. Uh, he, it was his duck bite. <laughs> <laughs> so he learned from like the hermit crab. Oh yeah. Wow. That's a learned learn behavior. Something new every day, yeah. everybody. That's but, incredible. See? They use anything they find on the bottom of the ocean. They take it and then use it for good. Yeah. It gets used up okay, that way. It's I not just some of the crab shell. Okay, the crab had been something had got it and ate it, and all that was left was the crab shell. Uh, he carrying it with him. <laughs> yeah, and he he turned that <laughs> over and used that when he first done it. That's what he used was the crab uh, shell. Sure. Then he found the coconut, which two halves. Okay, and then he had something going in. Yeah. I just want to throw this out Beautiful. there. Yeah. <laughs> Snoop Dogg narrating Planet Earth is hilarious. Oh no. I want to see Cy narrate nature. No. Yeah. <laughs> like, PBS. We need to well, make that happen. Our well, no, phone no. lines and emails are open. There's so much, okay, uh, intrigue. Okay, when the scientists start doing what they do, okay, about looking into different species and everything that they go through and all this stuff, that's very intriguing and uh Exciting, even. You know what watch. intrigues me? <clears throat> what? The look on your face when you saw that last night. No, no. I'd have loved to have been a no, fly no. on the wall. Oh, the size, no, no. Like, his mind being blown. Oh, son. no. Like, I, I was intrigued and just oh, I don't. blew to it. I'm serious. You I'm probably serious. quit pedaling your cube. Oh, yeah. yeah I'm <laughs> you serious. probably had to stop pedaling for that one. This is so cool, okay? Because uh, this is just one creature. Think of all the creatures you come into. Because one time I was watching it again, okay? <clears throat> and they're in the Amazon jungle. Well, hey, before we get into okay. that, let's take Go our take first break. break. Okay. We'll talk about the Amazon okay. when we come back. <laughs> 2022 is the year you don't put up with BS, and that starts with your falling apart, scratchy, stained old sweatpants. Give yeah. your butt the upgrade it deserves and lounge like a champ with our friends over at Tommy John. John. Oh, TJ, hey, baby. Look, Tommy John don't have fans. What do they have, son? Hey. Tommy John has fanatics. Absolutely, okay. they do. I wear them and I love them. There you go. Okay, <laughs> I got about fourteen pair of them. That's that's so he only has to do laundry every two weeks. That's, that's a good thing. Boys. When you start the year wearing Tommy John, you're that much more comfortable, so you can do everything better. Tommy John's men's underwear are breathable, lightweight, moisture-wicking fabric with four times the stretch of competing brands, and you'll feel the same level of comfort laying their luxuriously soft loungewear right on top. Tommy John loungewear is so comfortable and good looking, you can and will be wearing them everywhere. So slap on your Crocs and head to the grocery store. You're going to love going to the grocery store and your Tommy John. And hey, and it's like you ain't got them on, baby. Plus, it doesn't Freedom. <laughs> Whatever you choose from new underwear to loungewear, it's all backed by Tommy John's best pair you'll ever wear or it's free. Guarantee. Get 20% off your first order right now at TommyJohn.com slash duck. Go to TommyJohn.com slash duck for 20% off TommyJohn.com slash duck. See site for details. But anyway, hey, we're back in Amazon, okay? All right. Look, these are giant parrots. Giant parrots. Giant, you know, giant these things parrots? are about the size of uh, just, they're smaller than a turkey. So say, like, say about a half-grown turkey. So like big old macaws or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. But they just all, you got to think about this, all different colors, bright yellows. And I mean, when I'm saying bright, I'm talking about the brightest yellow you can come up with the brightest orange. Chartreuse. Just, just all of it. They just literally glow and there's thousands of them. Okay. And it's a, like a cliff and that's where they, they build their nest. And it shows all this junk. It's wild. Yeah, but we got all all kinds of stuff like that. Yeah, they've got islands uh, up in the Arctic where penguins and all this junk always make the big march. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And they and they found a they thought they was extinct, and they found it was one of the satellites we got up there in space. Okay, and they're looking. They're going over the Arctic. Well, the Arctic is solid ice and snow, which is white. Well, they're going over, and here's a brown track, okay, going off through the snow or ice. 
Yeah. Well, they followed this stupid thing, and what it is was penguin poop. <laughs> they trailed them. <laughs> they tra- no, no, I'm serious. That's, yeah. <laughs> then they zoom in, okay, and they said, voila, they're not extinct. There's still one big bunch of them on the tip of the Arctic. What are they? Some kind of penguin is all I know. <laughs> but, but, hey, they found them from their poop, okay? Because, hey, penguins eat a lot of fish. Yeah. Okay? And they can swim like a fish. Anything that can catch a fish and eat it is fast. I guarantee you. Okay, true. So, so, hey. The penguins. <laughs> but, I mean, we got all this uh, variety of wildlife and all this stuff that's happening all around us. And most people don't even get involved with it. No, they care less about it. Yeah, because like most people have really not enjoyed a sunrise. Okay, because we we're saying we always say, "Oh, the sun is setting," or "Oh, the sun is coming up this morning." No, it ain't. It ain't doing none of that. This earth is rotating. Okay, in the morning time, when you go out and it's dark, 4.30 a.m. in the morning, it's dark. Well, you sit there and you're looking east, and there's a flank glow starts. <clears throat> yeah. And then 7.30 or so, you see the top of the sun. It ain't coming up, okay? The earth is, I'm sitting with a duck blind, and the earth is rotating, okay, till I can see... See, the sun, I'm going toward the sun, the rotation, okay? When it's setting, that means the earth is rotated and it's behind me. It's done come up, went above me, got noontime right above me, and now it's going the other way. That means I'm going fixing to go off. To, if, if it was square, I'd be going to the edge and falling off. The earth's flat. <laughs> No. Oh boy. No. Oh boy. A lot of oh people boy. think that. Let me slap days. you. Oh Let me boy. slap you for thinking that. No. So, so no, this is a ball we're on, like a big. So you're not ball. buying into flat earth. No, we ain't not. Because if we did, we'd have fall off. <laughs> You'd be in the ocean, and as soon as it rotated, it dropped. That's where gravity comes into uh, work. Gravity. Yeah, gravity. What goes up <clears> must checking. come down. On your conspiracy. Okay. You if this you... is the educational part set. Podcast. Uh, Process Welcome. podcast. That's right. Welcome to Science is Number One. I'm still, I'm still trying Not to figure out. God's number one. I'm still trying to figure out what a penguin is. Hey. <laughs> hey. He said penguin. Why did I mispronounce it? A couple times. Well, that's common for but, me. You just okay. had a little then, uh, emphasis hey, on the wrong I'll syllable. Pronounce it correctly then. <laughs> penguin. penguin. Okay, penguin. There you go. Not a pink win. A pink win? Okay, a pink win, boys. Hey, hey let him do whatever he's going to do. Uh, hey, I know but here's band, what I'll tell you. I know you. a band called Pink. Yeah. Yeah. Good looking woman, lead singer. I thought that was just her name. It is. Well, she got a That's band. What, I said. what are we talking about? She's a fine little thing. I know that. Oh. <laughs> oh. Maybe that's a relationship right. we And she's got about. a good voice. She looks good and also can sing. A double whammy. Never been. Cy, si, look, I know in February you go into Texas, right? Yep. Right. When you're out there, get one of them boys that's got some of that night vision. Because ain't many lights out there in South Texas. And just look up with that night vision yeah. and let me know what you see. Because I just did it about two weeks ago. No, no. I, yeah, it's I don't incredible. Even, no, yeah. no. You don't even have to tell me that. We went on a, I guess you would call it a uh, duck hunting tour or trip to the west. Head west. From here, heading west, okay? And when we got on the Rio Grande River, it's 4.30 a.m. in the morning. We're on this river, and you can wade across it anywhere. Right below, uh, yeah, can't think of the name, stupid thing. Uh, uh, God, and, oh, it makes mm, me so mad. I can't remember. Rio what, Grande? No, it was Rio Grande River. She's below a lake or a city or what? City. Oh, I don't know. I, I can't. Colorado. No. no what, what, in state, New Mexico. what state were you in? New Mexico. I was in New Pueblo. Mexico. Albuquerque. Albuquerque. Ah! There you go. There you go. Good thing of it. Well, there ain't but about three. I was going to go well, Santa Fe no, no. next. But anyway, <laughs> okay, we're there. Okay, it's 430 and we're throwing decoys out. And in a 45-minute period, we see seven 
different shooting stars, planets blow, uh, burning up, or whatever you want to call them. Meteors. Planets, Meteors, planets okay. burning and up. One of them, look, one of them was humongous, okay? And it gets right above us, and it busts, a little bit busts off the back of it. So now we got a giant one going, and then the little bitty one trailing it. Now, you talking about, and look, it didn't look like it was very high above us, okay? <laughs> it's crystal clear. And Phil's looking, and he said, boys, he said, what you're looking at, that big ball of fire we're going to see and going across the sky, and then it just broke off in a little pieces trailing it. He said, that is, it ain't no telling how big of a planet that is that's on fire. Planet? Yeah, that's going across, yeah. But we seen 17 different things, okay, that did that that morning. Mm -hmm. And like you're talking about, I'd have loved, if I'd had a telescope, I would have loved to look at oh, it. I'm just it telling was, you. It was close enough as it was, but if you'd had like a pair of binoculars that you could brought it a little closer, yeah. it'd be scary. When you look when you look through that night vision stuff up there, that, that part of the Bible where they're talking about the number of stars in the sky has yeah. a whole new meaning. Because oh, there's yeah. a bunch of them you can't see with your eyes. No, no. Well, they've got... And then you light him up, and you're like, yeah. oh, boy. They've got the biggest telescope we've ever come up with right now, okay? And they've been looking throughout the universe, okay? And they have spotted a planet that they think is humongous, okay? I ain't no telling how far it is it, from No, here. no, and that's the thing. They have no idea how far it is. But it's so big that they, the scientists are going, good. Geeks, look at that. Yeah, but you know, on a clear night, like you're talking about, that's why I tell everybody, tell me, I said, you need to look up at night, and they're called constellations. And there's 88 of them, okay, that the scientists know about, okay? And these are stars. And when you look up and you can see, uh, here is uh, two horses, with a chariot behind it, with a driver, with the reins, with the spokes of the wheels and all this, <clears throat> okay? And you can look at me with a, uh, you know, and say there's bet, no almighty. I'm not stopping you, but hey, that's impressive that you yeah. know there's 88 named <laughs> constellations. Oh, no, 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 I no, no. no. It, everybody in right. That's from the Nature Channel, okay? My, uh, oh, there's somebody asking, are there 88 or 89? No. It's 88. Unbelievable. It's 88. I Googled Trust it. Trust me. Google it. It's 88 of them. Call me later. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's a human but, freaking hey. encyclopedia. It's oh, no, no, no. But look, there's the horses with the chariot, all that with the driver. And then there's another one. Okay. It's a man. And he's got a bow and arrow. And it's at full draw with the arrow. All right. Okay. The hunter. Yeah. The hunter. <clears throat> then got you them, got, got them three which belts. Everybody knows about. You've got the Big Dipper and the Little Dipper. The Big Dipper and the Little yeah. Dipper. Hold on, we're playing with. That's a good magnet. <laughs> but anyway, you know, <laughs> all of this stuff, you know, that's why when I die and go to heaven, mm -hmm. I'm going to be a interstellar traveler. He's in the stars, boy. Yeah. Because I'm going to tell Jesus, I said, hey, I want about you know, two weeks or a month, and I'm going to go look at all this creation, you know, because we just see a little minute portion. I want to see a lot more. You're only going to do it for two weeks? Kind of selling yourself short on a target. Probably a there, month. Big guy. Probably a month. Okay. <laughs> at least a you month. You got time, okay. is all I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, since well. it's eternity. Yeah. And we up against time, too. Let's take another break. We'll be back. <laughs> The man knew there were 88 constellations. He knows about an octopus that lives in a coconut. That's right, boys. He knows Check. there's 360 joints in a human body. That's it, boys. I, I, oh, hey, I didn't know that there's 100,000 miles of veins and arteries in this old body of mine. 100,000 miles. 100,000. All right. We and might hey, finally get on. I used to say 10,000, and I thought that was a lot until this young man Googled it on his phone, and he said, oh, man, you are in error, sir. And I said, what? He said, it ain't 10,000. It's 100,000.
Johnny D? No. Survey says? <laughs> Survey says J. Stone. Huh? How many miles of veins and arteries? 100,000. If you took them and stressed them out, 100,000 miles. But if you took all the blood vessels out of an average child and laid them out in one line, the line would stretch over 60,000 miles, and adults would be closer to 100,000 miles. <laughs> the man is unbelievable. Bingo, bongo. Do you watch Jeopardy, too? Uh, like, yeah. where do you yeah. get all this useless <laughs> yeah, information? Yeah, I watch Jeopardy, too. <laughs> like, I mean, yeah. I'm just trying right. to figure out. We can now, play hey, trivia. Now, hey, you got to think about that. That's pretty amazing. It is amazing for a man that sleeps well, 16 no, hours a day. No, no, How do you retain no. all this? No, no, like, I'm I, telling you. I, I don't know. We're, we're going to get on pumps, okay? Um, I've got one and had to have it worked on, okay? Huh? I've had an open heart surgery on my pump. Your heart or your prostate? My, my heart. Oh, yeah. okay, because there's two of okay, them in there. Okay, because look, my brother, <laughs> he fills the duck hole up with a pump, okay? Stainless steel. 36,000 gallons a minute. Diesel engine. Diesel engine. Okay. <laughs> and a stick will foul it all up. All right, look. Yeah. And it's breaking down all the time. This is stainless steel for crying out loud. It's breaking down. This little fleshly thing I've got, now it's been worked on. But, hey, it can get 100 years. It had a rebuild. Yeah, had a rebuild. Okay. <laughs> a little transmission <laughs> problem. <laughs> <laughs> problem. But you got to think about it. Then you think, okay, a hundred thousand vessels and veins and arteries that uh, pumps blood from the tip of my toe to the tip of my head. Okay, and this is uh, upriver. Okay, this ain't f gravity feed. Okay, this is upriver. This got to pump this uphill and downhill. Up and downhill. And look, when they first done it, when they was finding out about DNA, when they looked at it, it looked like a big barge, okay, that had a tugboat behind it pushing it. There's the only way I can describe it when they was looking at DNA. I love this guy. Hey, <laughs> a thumb. That's one important member of this little body of mine. There's, hey. This thing, you know, there's so many things that you couldn't do if you didn't have that thumb. And all that happened through some yeah. big explosion. Yeah, that was some big explosion where there was nothing. <laughs> so first of all, hey, tell me what blew up. <laughs> okay. Something. Yeah, something. But no, there was nothing. <laughs> so just something. Like, oh, I got one for you better than that. Uh-oh. Here I we go. I lived in my buddy's house in Alabama. Alabama has got mountains in it. Is that the same buddy you went squirrel hunting with? No, that's a different buddy. Oh, I know what this. You, <laughs> but you anyway, don't, hey, don't talk about the spring at the top yeah, of the hill. Okay. okay, there is the Paint Rock River Valley. Okay, has got the Paint Rock River running through it. I had lived in my buddy's house up in the country. Okay, and my water source was a spring, cold, crystal clear, sweet water. And every once in a while, I had to walk up the mountain, okay, which was about a mile high, okay, and clean a screen that I had in front of over a PVC pipe, three inch. The guy that built all this, he made it three, three inch pipe, two inch pipe, one inch pipe to half inch pipe coming down the mountain. My water pressure was probably all 65 to 80 pounds, square pounds per square inch. Because when I turn it on, I just fill a glass up, ice cold, sweet water. Now, in the 20s, there was a drought in Paint Rock Valley, okay? The Paint Rock River at the bottom of the mountain, bone dry. That little spring I'm talking about was about as big as this table, okay, circle, and was about waist deep, a little better than waist deep. You could just stand up there and look at it, and it would be bubbling white sand on the bottom of it. Everyone in that area, is that's where they went and got their water during that drought. And I'm going, no, wait a minute, hmm, hold it. You gotta go up the mountain, okay, 
you get 10 feet above or 10 yards above the spring and you're on the top of it and you're looking around the whole thing, you're on the highest pinnacle. Below that, okay, 10 yards is that spring. Common sense would tell me, uh, hey, we got to put the, the water at the bottom of the mountain. The Almighty says, wrong answer, dude. I'm going to put it at the top. The bottom's going to be bone dry, but the one at the top is going to be plenty. That's just one of them. Uh, how did you do that? <laughs> well, it all started with nothing, and then there was That's this right. bang. That's right. Then there was a the big bang. Wrong answer. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> all right, boys. Sorry about that. All right. uh, you ain't got to apologize to me. <laughs> no, what else? What else? Hey, right, this is a wonderful planet we live on. Okay. It really is. It's okay. a shame it's going to burn up one day. Uh, yeah. That's right. And look, and this is a wonderful body that I've got. Wonderful. Okay. It's getting old. Okay. But it's still wonderful. But it's still it's wonderful. wonderful. It is. He's the only man I know that matches his shirt to his tea glass to the ju to the lid on his tea jug. I mean, look at him. You got to think. Look at him, boys. Right. And He's these are my bring t-shirt, boys. <laughs> hey. But, hey, this is a good time for a little, uh, hey, AmericaScroll.com. There That's it is. That's where you are it, baby. There All it right. is. Uncle and you si get approved, baby. There you approved, baby. Uncle oh. Si approved. Well, let's take another break, and we'll, right. we'll be back right, right after that. What we're going to do after this. So, Si, yeah. you've, uh, I've been noticing you here at the office a lot more here lately. You, you, you got a little something you're working on? What? Yeah. Uh, Dace has been, uh, he's into this uh, metal detecting. Why is he into metal detecting? It's actually exciting. Because he couldn't get no better at golf. Yeah. He had peaked at how good he could get well, it off, so he needed say, something. Yeah, that's, that's one of them things there. If you don't, uh, if you don't have the natural talent, <laughs> no, I, I didn't go that far. I just said he. Could well, I'm just better. saying it. The, hey, it's amazing what these guys today that are on the golf pro golf tour mm -hmm. can do with a little iron or a, you know. Yeah, absolutely. And a golf ball. But what are you doing? We ain't talking about golfers. Okay, I'm no, trying to talk about Dave, metal Dave, detecting. You got yeah. a couple of friends and uh, a brother, okay, that are in the That's metal detecting. That sounds like a lot. So, we uh, have got a new show coming, okay, where we are looking to hit the jackpot. So what's your role? Because you ain't gonna uh, be out there trudging well, through no swamp you ever looking watched, for stuff. If you ever watch Charlie's Angels. Yeah. Okay, there was Charlie, the head man, which you never get to see him. Okay, you only got to see the three good-looking girls and then Bosley. So okay. Jace and Jeff are part of your good-looking uh, girls? Well, no. They, you may uh, need to they, recast no, your character. They just, I've got three knuckleheads. I ain't oh. got three beautiful women. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I am Bosley, okay, because we do research. I do. And then I send them out. And trying to, like I, I read about, okay, you know, the parents attacked the, the pirates attacked the ship, sunk it, okay, and they had a lot of, they was carrying a lot of gold. They was from Spain. Go okay. find it. Go find it. Yeah. Where do you research this? The library? Library, area. Have you town, not realized how big of a town. PBS bag he's on? He knows every behind-the-scenes story of oh, every no, city hey, look, in Louisiana. Oh, he does his My research. wife helps me a lot. She's good. She's I'm computer illiterate. Okay, my yeah. wife is not. She's so, good with the so you're sending them out to find treasure. Yeah, to find treasure. What's your cut? Huh? We're yeah. gonna split it four ways equal. Four ways split. Okay. Between the only bad thing about these guys is. They're a little, I'm like Donald Southern, okay? These boys are a little negative side. Okay, <laughs> like, like old Moriarty, okay? In that movie with uh, Clint Eastwood, Kelly's Heroes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, know. so you in this one for troop morale too? Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, I always, always got to keep them, hey, you know, I got to keep them fired up, okay? I said, boys, because, hey, like on the last one, on their pilot series that we did, we went to a place. I sent them to a place, okay? There was a gold train of about 20 
mules or donkeys. Well, don't don't spoil the whole well, no, thing no. now. Well, I'm just saying. Before we get to any, don't okay. give no but goods hey, away uh, now. That's what they was looking for. I'll I'll say that. Is this gonna be on PBS? What's it's that? gonna be on television somewhere. Yeah. Okay, I can't. You know, I don't know what. It, you know, anybody? Now, I got an I got an interesting question for you there. Then right. out of your crew, which one's a mule and which one's a donkey? Uh, no, then no, hold, no, hold, no. This is. <laughs> they all three hard headed. <laughs> Who's the third? Huh? Hey, Murray Crow. Okay. He's the guru with the metal detector. Okay. He even made what he called Big Bertha. I don't think that's the right name, but anyway, it's a woman. I will name. say this Jace, it, it will be a relentless treasure hunter because oh, no. we crippled down a Woody the other day. And he stayed in that thicket for 45 minutes. And then, boom. Shot Good another shot. one that come in there and landed. And he come, <laughs> no. he come out. No, no, no. That's what everybody said. No, That's no. what everybody said. I, I like it. No, no, because there there, yep. I think there was only one Woody on the property. <laughs> and yep. and he, he, he got him 45 minutes later in a thicket a panther can't go through. Hey. They've said, one of the guys was saying the other day, said, he's, he's the only man that I know that can slip around in waders. And not make ripples. And not make ripples. That's me. I said that. Okay. Yeah. Well, I knew somebody said it the other day, but I've watched him, okay, when he leaves the blind. Yeah. Because he goes out there, and we've just seen a duck fall out there. He goes, he reminds me of a big blue heron crane. <laughs> okay. If you ever, no, no. If you ever seen one of them when he's looking for breakfast, okay? <laughs> this bird is huge, okay? He's tall like Jace, okay? He's got long legs. And, hey, when he's moving, okay, he's looking in front of him. And when he moves, it's just, it's like he's in slow motion. It takes him forever to lift his leg and then just, is currently slowly moving his arm forward. Oh, he's about to pounce. So. <laughs> Hold up. Like yeah. Then he eases it in the water, making no ripples. No ripples. Uh, he ain't quite close enough, so he picks the other one up. Same thing. Yeah. But I've watched Jace, and that's exactly – he's just like I'm looking at a blue herring crane. He, well, he's right. moving in super slow motion. That's why nothing sees him coming. He's literally walked up. And sit down on, we've got mounds of dirt where they pushed it up when they was making that lake and mm -hmm. the lane. Deer lay on them, especially bucks, okay? Because, hey, they get out there and get on that thing, they hear anybody coming, boat, whatever. They go, yeah, they don't hear Jace coming. Because he's literally <laughs> eased up there like that blue heron crane and actually sat down. And it's about, oh, about the size of this. Jason's sitting here. The buck's laying right over there. And he's got a 30-30 in his hand. He carried it with him just in case he sees a deer. And he looked at him and told me, no, he's just too big, and I'm way up here, and I like to drag that sucker all the way down there to the boat. I ain't doing it. <laughs> he ain't doing it, boy. I ain't doing it. Oh, I he, he is the best stilker. Oh, yeah. Stilker is what, oh, what yeah. he calls it, stilking. Yeah. Well, hey, his I don't name think that's is a Slick real Jace. Word. He got that name. <laughs> Name. Oh yeah, that's a good name uh, for it. Yeah. Oh, he, hey, he does he'll slip up on. He'll slip on. Yes, yeah. Oh, he'll slick you. He does slick to you a lot of times, oh, hasn't yeah. he? Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. He's the greatest retriever in the history. Well, of duck no, no, he's the best cripple man. Okay, he's better than about. a dog. Yeah, because yeah. he got a shotgun. Because yeah, he got right. a shotgun, and hey, you can tell him, hey, look, hey, he's more to the left. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, he tossed his dog that way. You know. uh, oh yeah. He'll say, go down there that button, Willa. Hang it right. <laughs> and then go 20 yards. <coughs> but, no, it's uh He's a good cripple getter. Oh, he, he's – I've never seen anybody with that 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 good of an, a mark that he puts on them. That duck will sail down 500 yards in a thicket, and he and he he could tell the difference between a gut shot, neck shot, head shot. He'll say, well, that one's going to be dead. I'll go get him. He'll go, and 30 minutes later, he'll come back with him. No shots. Yep. We used to think, I used to think just what Martin said. He went down there, and then, boom, 
I said, yeah, one come over him. He killed him. And then, <laughs> but he comes back. He always come back and said, well, I got down there where he was at. Found two feathers. Hey, and there was a pile of brush over there that fell off, a big limb that fell off a tree. There was a pile of brush there, and I looked, and there was two feathers over there on that limb. And I said, look, I, I've seen a little ripple. No, it was a dying quiver. He kicked his foot. I went over and picked him up. <laughs> <laughs> I only wish I was joking about that too, but he ain't. I've, I've seen he's the and best heard. I've ever seen. I'm oh, he's, so now he's hunting gold on TV. Uh, yeah. So he's got the patience for yeah. it. That's what we're. That's what we're leaning into. But, I, but these I, can't I, run from him. They can only I, hide. I didn't. I didn't tell you. I'd say this. Okay. When this happened about that gold train. Uh -huh. it was in the 1830s. The first thing that happens when Jace starts waving that metal detector, beep, 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 beep. If uh, I was you, si, ding, if, ding, you ding, ding. if you find in all the places for him, I'd better my hand. I think oh, you yeah. get more than 25. Yeah, you deserve more than 25. No, no. Hey, I said, hey, they're doing the work. See, that's the thing they have a problem with. And I had to keep reminding them, boys, hey, look. I'm the brains of the outfit. You're the bronze or the muscle of the outfit. So, hey, just keep digging, okay? Quit getting negative on me. You know, go a little more positive on them. You know? Yeah. Don't be like old Marachi and, and kill his heroes. Well, it's about like that time you had me and Jep dig up your backyard looking for Vietnamese <laughs> well, dong. All we hey. found was a can of quarters. Well, hey. Like, so I wrong said, hey, can. that quarter hey. from 1980. Well, you hey, know what this hey, was hey, now? Look, said, yeah, 25 That was the wrong cents. can. You like, didn't find the right can. <laughs> <laughs> is the Vietnamese dong still in your backyard? Yeah. Yeah. We stopped once we looked up the value yeah. of it. Yeah. They, it's they, like point they oh, 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 two cents. They got negative on <laughs> like, me when he looked at the you quarter should, and it was 18, 1981. You yeah. should send yeah. Jason to Charlie's Angels after the Vietnamese dong. We found $60 in loose change That's in right. a can, and the Vietnamese dong is worth less than that. So we're like, all right, we're all fat. He's all fat. <laughs> They, 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 yeah. they just, you know, they ain't got no sticking power. No endurance, boys. Yep. We ain't, uh, we ain't you gotta got, have endurance to be a treasure. I ain't got the heart that it takes to do that. That's right. So. You gotta have, you gotta have endurance for no, treasure. I'm out on that. Yeah, me too. All right. Well, let's take our last break. And we'll get in that mail bag when we get come in that back. mailbox, boys. Oh boy. All right, we're back. Hello at duckcallroom.com is the email address. Johnny D is the gatekeeper of that. So send him all your things, all the stuff. You <laughs> Except for Bengals fans. Good grief. Yeah, yeah. Get your well. panties in a wad. <laughs> Do not say that who day doesn't sound like something people from Cincinnati would say. What, both of them emailed you? No, like oh. six. Hey, you oh, need to get you. off it, J.D. Kendra said, I should research, then learn to speak. <laughs> Who that, Kendra? <laughs> She's sending me ESPN articles from 2010. Get away from me, Bing. I was rooting for the Bengals. I might. Uh, I'm now still, you change your mind? No, nah, I'll still uh, nah, it. man. It's just a stupid saying that nobody would ever say in Cincinnati. Well, what you got in the mailbox? Sorry. Um, what do I got in the mailbox? My man, Richie. Richie, boys. Is that Richie Rich? Richie? I don't know how Richie is. Uh, well, hey. He likes singing country music from the 50s to 89. He's had a hard stop at 90. Richie's 18. <laughs> He's from Hutto, Texas. Hutto, Texas. Hutto, Texas. Where's that at? You know, J.D.? Hutto? I don't know. Find out. Hey. My computer's going to die, so I might uh, not come find out. Made up. Hutto, Texas. I'm Now I'm going to look it up. It's part of the Austin Round Rock metropolitan okay. area. Okay. There you go, boys. Austin. All right. So now we know that. That's what we know. Uh, he, what, his question, Richie, what does heaven look like to you, Si? We know what two weeks of it's going to look All I like. know is it's going to be wonderful. Okay. And for two weeks, you're going to be an interstellar traveler. That's right, boys. And uh, probably be a month. But anyway, <laughs> no. Heaven's going to be wonderful. We don't know what it's going to look like. But what do you think it looks like? All I know is, is that everything up there is going to be good. There's going to be a lot of laughing, a lot of joy, a lot of peace. Well, that's here. Okay. I'm not the peace. No, nah, yeah. Well, hey, no. You got more We laugh here. and we have joy. I know, but hey. It'll be like. A lot of people don't. That's true. Okay. It'll be multiplied there. Uh, everything will be great when you get there. 
Martin, you got it. We anything? don't know what all we're going to be doing. What's that? Uh, heaven? About what heaven looked like? Yeah. Yeah. Like ducks everywhere. Right. Duck. Fish so plentiful, you don't that's know right. what to do that's with right. them. Big deer. Every... Streets of gold. Yeah. yeah. Pearly gold. gates. Pearly yeah. gates. There's going to be a big yeah. cypress swamp in there somewhere. Ooh. Every brush top got about 100 two pound crappies on it Ooh. and they bite right. and they bite and, on hey. every cat right hey. yep <laughs> and, and guess what here's the best part uh-oh there is no game wardens <laughs> what do you say there's no, no game, game board no game, game board hey no on. limits no limits you can catch all you want somebody uh, did send me a picture of a game probably be catch and release though unless you want to eat them hold on i gotta prove something real quick <laughs> right. yeah you, hey, hey, look, hey, this is for eternity. Uh, okay? I plan on Don't looking. Don't no big rush. I plan on looking up my grandparents because I can tell you right now, if that's the case, they know where they at already. <laughs> so they've done plenty of scouting by the time hey, I get yeah. there. I got that's good one news, good si. thing I've never thought about because hey, I never, I never get the new, never got to know either one of my grandparents. Yeah, the men. And hey, that'd be fun. That'd, that's gonna yep. be a good yep. time. Yep. There you go, Si. Mike from Augusta, Georgia, sent that in. That's a game warden in the church parking lot. There you go. So man. maybe there will be some in heaven. There will be a few there. No. Well, hey, that's up to the Almighty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're gonna if be. He got some some slack. Uh, hey, I can't. There's gonna be game like wardens there. They're just uh, gonna be reassigned. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 got a different job. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, there's there's plenty of fine uh, fine men uh, and women that are game wardens. That's they right. just hey, gonna they have a different assignment. Hey, they may take the fish off my off of my pole I used to catch them with. Yeah, maybe. See. <laughs> I, I up, like it. You're just always the one that says game wardens won't be in heaven. Right. That's right. Which hey, well, they're going to do that because that's to make up for all the tickets they wrote. Because they didn't write their grandmother up. I'm telling you. <laughs> I follow the law. <laughs> well, hey, there you go. He said they uh, write their grandmother up. <laughs> and my computer just died. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Nope, no, it didn't. It's back. Look at that. All right, we got to go fast, though. You Shannon. Right. Uh, Shannon Doa. Nope, just regular oh, just old Shannon, Shannon from okay. Louisville, Kentucky, which is up oh, near yeah. Cincinnati. Uh, so if Louisville, you say Kentucky, boys. Hey, Kentucky's a good state. <laughs> uh, I married a woman from there. Uh, mean old redhead? Uh, yep. All She's right. From Kentucky. Well, Shannon got a Bible, a study Bible for Christmas. Well, good for you. <laughs> but it is so overwhelming. Do you have any advice in a good order that I should read the books of the Bible in that will help me understand it better? Yep. Hey, here's where you start. Go to Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John and find out, first of all, who Jesus is, what he's done, and what he will do in the future. What, he, what he's done in the past, doing in the present, and what he'll do for us in the future. That's where I'll tell you to start. Matthew, find Matthew, out who John. Jesus is. Yeah. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. I agree with that. Start with a New Testament. Then it then won't go be back, so overwhelming. Go back and pick up that Old Testament history lesson at the end. Yeah. Yeah. That can get yeah. confusing. Yeah, absolutely. Because if you start yeah. in Genesis and then you're like, let's go look at Exodus and Leviticus, you're going to. There's going to be a bunch of names it in is. there that's Trouble got like. Is a well, no, no. <laughs> it is overwhelming, okay, because there's 66 books. Yeah. But there's going to be a bunch of names in there you try to keep straight. Man, yeah. it's, like yeah. a, it's like a family yeah. tree. that, uh, And they all got two vowels in them. I got 17 consonants hey, and two vowels. So. I was sending you to the important part first. The important okay. part first. Yeah. Start with Jesus. Right. Re- Start with the Jesus, and then you'll end with him, and you're in good shape. The mm-hmm. reason I, I, I like that email, though, is because like, I read it on like Sunday afternoon. I was reading emails. And my pastor that morning said, look, if you haven't ever read the Bible, because a lot of people do. It's like, all right, January 1st, going to read gonna it. going to read from Genesis. Read it in a year. And he was like, end of it. His advice was start in John. Yeah, he that's goes, a good place. John's a little more uh, intimate uh, with his n- story of Jesus than like Matthew. And or that's Mark what Jace told me too. Whenever he, right. whenever I studied, he said start in John because that's in his opinion it was the closest personal account of Jesus. Yeah, Luke, because yeah. Luke was a doctor, so he a little more yeah. detailed. Yeah, you know Matthew the tax collector, John. That was just the dude that liked to go fishing. That would probably be that was Jesus' change. really what, good friend. I'll change what I said. Read John first. Then if you want to go to Matthew, Mark, and... We, yeah, read all four of them. Read Absolutely. all four of them. But, like I said, yeah. Start in John. Yeah, yeah start in John. Yeah, all that. Yeah. I've been reading a chapter of yeah. John a day. It's yeah. been good. Yep. Anyways. All right, so start in John, Matthew, Mark, Luke. 
Read the whole thing, though. Yeah, read it all. Stuff, it all. It all has merit. No. <laughs> you want an easy read, go to Psalms and Proverbs, because those are just kind of fun. I like Proverbs. You know, both like, of them are yeah. good. Yeah, I like Proverbs. Yeah, Psalms and Proverbs are both yeah. both good. Well, there's a lot of uh, in Ecclesiastes, too. Yeah. Yeah, you because know, there's a lot of common sense in Proverbs and Ecclesiastes. And you ever find yourself struggling, go read about our boy Job. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just, That'll help you put things uh, in perspective. Job's yeah. friends, Job's friends wasn't much. <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> I, just had, I just had to say that. You know, well, they, I've never heard they wasn't say that. they weren't very good for the boy. Job's <laughs> friends. He needs, he needs to get him some better friends. Okay. <laughs> so they was telling me, hey, oh, you need to just get away from that. Yeah. 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 That'll That's be. Good. I'll remember that one for a while. <laughs> Job's <laughs> friends. They wasn't much. They wasn't much. Not much. much. Yeah. Lord have mercy. Well, our friends are pretty good around here. But, look, we appreciate y'all tuning in. Johnny D., you got one you want to close us out on? We're going to do it. I already had this one pulled up. John 1, verse 1 through 5. In the beginning was not a big bang. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and that life was light, the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. That's a good one. Amen. Then if you jump down to verse 14, it says, Then he became flesh. The word became flesh, flesh. and made his dwelling among, among us. us. There you go. Amen. Right. Light shines go. through. We'll see you all right. next time right here in the duck call room. We're out. <laughs>